Hey, hey, hey guys, Angela Roland here, and today we're going to be talking about this 2000 Yamaha Virago 250. Now, in my opinion, this is a sweet little bike. Let's check her out and you tell me what you think. Even though when we purchased this bike, we knew she had a fluid leak, we were not sure where it was coming from. So we started it her up. The motor sounded great. Took her for a five minute test drive, got her back, and there was oil everywhere. It was on the pipes. It was on the seat. It was puddling in crevices but we still didn't know where the oil was coming from. So first thing first, I grabbed a rag and started cleaning her up. Now, in the midst of all of the cleaning, we did stop to go to the parts store because we knew that we were going to be doing an oil change but I also wanted to check the spark plugs to make sure they were still firing. They look great. So we popped them back in and got them plugged back up and went ahead with the oil change. After a trip to the parts store and of course getting her cleaned up, the sun was starting to go down. But I am a little impatient, plus I wanted the bike to sit for 24 hours before we did the test drive. Now, as soon as we pulled the plug, you could tell by the sight and the smell that there was gas in the oil. Could this be the cause of the mysterious fluid leak? Because remember at the beginning, I said we purchased the bike with the fluid leak. We just didn't know where it was coming from. That's the reason why we did the five minute test drive. When she arrived back, there was oil everywhere. So that's where this process began. Let's do the oil change. Fingers crossed that this fixes our problem. Now, I did let her sit for about 15, 20 minutes to make sure all of the oil had drained out. So I went ahead and went on the other side to do the filter exchange with a brand new K&N filter. I did clean the inside of the filter cavity just to make sure there was no oil or debris on the inside of it. This bike had not been rode or even started in a while. If you're not familiar with the design of the petcock on these bikes, it does not have a specific off position. So maybe that allowed the gas to leak into the oil reservoir? I'm guessing. If you happen to know the best position for the pet cock to be in while not riding this bike, please let me know in the comment section below. No leaks on the shop floor, so it is ready for the test drive. Came back from a 20 minute test drive, absolutely clean as a whistle, no oil to be found, correct amount in the sight glass. This sweet little ride is ready to go.